Hi everyone, welcome to Grace and Glory Homeschooling. If this is your first time here, my name is Michaela. I'm a second generation homeschool mom. I've been homeschooling my kids for the past 14 years. I have three kids and I love sharing reviews and encouragement and tips with you. I took a break from filming and I'm excited to be back as I have every March sharing an update of the curriculum that we are using for the current school year and how I feel it is going. I'm going to be sharing today about my father's world, exploring countries and cultures. Now, if you look back on the channel, you will find reviews of my father's world kindergarten, first grade and second grade. And this is what we are using for our third grade year. Exploring countries and cultures is actually the first curriculum in a cycle that starts what they call at my father's world, the family cycle. And so this is geared towards third through eighth grade. But if you have a second grader who is tagging along with older siblings, you can skip their second grade curriculum and just have them join the family cycle to do this with you. ECC is actually an immersive year in world geography. Um, we study missionaries and the names, I'm sorry, the words of Jesus. Names of Jesus is second grade. Words of Jesus is third grade. And it takes you on a journey traveling all around the world and it's so much fun. I really love how My Father's World does this before you enter into all the heavy stuff of history, you know, like the wars and the false gods and just the drama and things that come with history. So this is a very positive, uplifting, a fun year of so many good things. So the teacher's manual, as all the My Father's World manuals, is a week at a glance. The subjects are down the side, the days are across, and it shows you everything for the week, and you can move it around to fit your unique schedule. There is a supplement here if you are using this program with seventh and eighth graders. So it's gonna show you some of the more advanced curriculum and resources that you would be using that week just for the big kids. It also shows you each day certain things that you need to prepare or certain things you need to say or use or look up and it's really open and go and easy to use. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna share that we love this curriculum. This is our second time using it. And so you're going to hear nothing but positive reviews here about this. The first time I went through it with my big kids, I wanted to supplement and so I used lap books. If you've ever heard of lap booking, we lap booked every country as we went through ECC. Now the second time through, I knew that my youngest child was not a fan of the whole cut and paste and scrapbook style of things. So I knew that lap books were not going to cut it, but I did supplement with something called beautiful feet books. And so at the end of this video, I'm going to share what beautiful feet guides I use to go along and um, coordinate and complement the ECC study. Now, I'm also going to share that I'm a little bit of a rebel and neither time that I have done ECC have I gone in the exact order that my father's world has you studying the countries. Here's the order that they have you doing it in and each time I've actually rearranged it to where it fits a little bit better um, with our season for the location that where we live like they have Antarctica at the end of the year I like to put Antarctica in winter time and we study it when it's cold so I move things around and I've never found that that's an issue or that it creates any problems but of course you can always do it in the way that is planned I'm a big encourager that you make the curriculum fit your family and you do what you feel is best and what makes most sense to you. So if you're just starting out, it would probably be overwhelming to try and rearrange things. But I've been homeschooling for so long that I felt comfortable rearranging things to fit our family. And so I did that with the study this year. Something that my father's world does is student notebooks. 
and I'm gonna show you just a peek into my third graders notebook we put his in a binder you can see it's pretty thick I put all the pages into clear page protectors so um, that they're kept safe um, for years to come my big kids still go back and look at their old binders and we enjoy doing that every country that you visit in ECC has this opening page it shows the map, it shows the flag of the country, it shows a person from the country, and then it shows the Bible scripture, John 3.16. Now, if um, the country speaks a different language other than English, you would see it written in another language, like China or Africa. But of course, because I'm in Australia, they speak English, it's written here in English. There's usually um, like a map page and a science page. So I'm gonna show you, let's see, is it backwards? That's the Australia map page, I can't really tell. And then this is the science page. Um, we studied the coral reef when we studied Australia. And so my third gra grader wrote some facts about the coral reef in our studies. Now it's a little more sloppy it's a little sloppier than I would really like to see, but he enjoys writing, he enjoys doing the sheets, he doesn't complain about it, so I try not to be too picky. All right, we're gonna come back to the student notebook, but I'm gonna move on just to show a few resources. This is the science that ECC uses, it's called Properties of Ecosystems by Answers in Genesis. We really, really like this science. I've heard a lot of negative reviews and I don't, know why um, maybe because it doesn't have a ton of experiments but uh, science is not my strongest subject and I like that it's just super simple so here's an example of the ecosystem study of caves so we would read these two pages we did read those two pages then you fill out the worksheet it'll tell you here's the cave worksheet there's a section where you can um, dig deeper. So it's called taking it further. So if you have older kids, you would probably want to do taking it further. And then here's a study that they did on bats. Now instead of me and uh, my nine-year-old reading all of this, I went on YouTube and I looked up a video um, for bats in caves and we actually studied about the Carlsbad Caverns on uh, the National Park in New Mexico and we just watched a video about it. So we found that fun, it's simple, it's not every day, and so I like that um, it's sporadic. I'm gonna put this down. They also use the Usborne Living World Encyclopedia. This book is great, it's super simple, and it's very informational, which I feel is great for logical boys. Maybe if you have a girl, they would want a little more fiction, but this is just nonfiction facts. Um, I like the graphics in it and I like again how simple it is. The kit comes with this world geography book. This is a black and white notebook that you can make photocopies of the pages. Some of them we did, some of them we didn't. I'm not someone that really likes to push a lot of busy work if there's no purpose. So um, we just pick and choose which ones of these that we like to use. Now, exploring countries and cultures is actually getting a makeover. My Father's World is coming out with a new edition for 2022, and I believe they're getting rid of some of these resources, but these are a couple books I think they're getting rid of, but we used them this year, and I actually like them for the younger grades. I would say they're so cheap, you could still pick them up on Amazon um, to complement your study their vocabulary building about geographical terms but if you have an older kid of course I wouldn't be using this with like a seventh or eighth grader this is definitely for the younger crowd all right now this is the morning basket kind of time this is the time for studying Bible and um, all of the rich parts of ECC First is Window on the World. This is a beautiful, full color, glossy book, and it's a prayer guide on how to pray for the people from all the different countries. And so I'm just gonna pull up, this is North Korea. So you can see facts about the country, stories about the people. You can see how to pray for them, um, 
some of it gets a little bit deep. I pick and choose because some might talk about persecution or how the people are suffering. So you have to use your judgment and discernment as to whether or not you want to share that information with your kids. But I find that it's a really great resource to use throughout the years with your family. Another book is Hero Tales. This is volume one. This is stories about missionaries and martyrs and people of faith. This is a book that I read aloud and there's not really a lot to look at, but you would read the story and then they have um, discussion questions, things you can talk about and scripture that you can use for copy work. Now the thread or the theme for Exploring Countries and Cultures Bible is the words of Jesus. And as we go through the words of Jesus in our study, I picked up this extra devotional. It's called Words of Jesus, 180 Devotions and Prayers for Kids. And I felt like this was such a great addition to our study. They're super short and simple reads, but you know what, the Lord, he met me in some of these devotionals when we were reading and um, really ministered to my heart. And it's written, of course, for the kids to be able to understand, but I feel like it's a book that really blesses um, all ages. So I definitely recommend picking this up. I got it from christianbook.com. Um, I think the author says Biggers. I'm not sure. It doesn't really say on the front or the back. <laughs> Um, another book that I added was Missionary Stories with the Millers. This is an old fashioned, again, black and white book, but you'll see the area of the world. You'll get a short little devotional story style um, adventure tale. Some of these are very fascinating. Some of them are a little graphic and um they, they're enticing, exciting, they, they keep the kids' attention. So, um, you know, there there's some talk of disasters and persecution and different things too. So of course, use at your discretion, but we really like missionary stories with the Millers to go along with the countries that we're studying. Another book I picked up is this one. This book is amazing. It's called Brave Heroes, Bold Defenders, and this is stories about men of God. Now they make another one that is in pink and it's about women of God. And so this, what I like, is a little bit different from the hero tales because it's written at a level and in a way that the kids can read it themselves. So you'll see this one as C.S. Lewis. There's always a picture of the biography and just a one page, um, kind of a long paragraph study that goes with it. And so my third grader read this aloud to me as extra reading practice. I like that it has modern people, like even Tim Tebow is in here. And so it's not just historical people, it's a mix of people from long ago, from people in the Bible, and from people of today that are still alive. So this, my nine-year-old son, he really, really likes this. And um, he would ask me, hey, are we gonna read this today? So definitely would recommend that one on Amazon. Now, um, My Father's World has math and language suggestions. I do not follow the math, but I do follow the language. And so here's just a peek at the language lessons for today for grade three. My son used the second grade and now he's using the third grade. He really likes um, this curriculum. It is very gentle and um, I have a feeling that he likes it because it's not so rigorous, but it gets the job done. It's only a few days a week. It's short and sweet. It is not consumable. So you can use it child after child. My son writes on lined paper. And even some of the lessons are oral, and so we discuss them. Not everything is in writing. Um, it's pretty light actually on writing, but it does cover a solid review of the basics. Starting in fourth grade, you would get language lessons for today, plus the My Father's World book that is called Writing Skills for Today. So that one specifically addresses writing. My Father's World recommends spelling power. We have used this for years, 
and it gets the job done. So if you're interested um, in learning more about spelling power, you can go to the separate video that I have on this channel and it shares just about pros and cons and tips for using spelling power with your family. Now, I said I was gonna come back to the student notebook and share about how we used beautiful feet guides in our study. So, Beautiful Feet Books is a company that makes literature guides for um, how to use living books and nature study and recipes as part of your homeschooling experience. The one that I used was Around the World with Picture Books Part 1. This is for K through third grades and Around the World with Picture Books Part 2. And this is also for K through third grades. So in each country that you study, you're going to find, they have these beautiful glossy full color pages. You're going to find book suggestions, um, art to look at. Here's some of the art displays that you can see and discuss together. You're gonna to find nature connections and then suggestions for books to find at the library. So whatever we happen to be studying in ECC, I would use the Beautiful Feet Guides to go along with it. And they have all of these printables at the back of their guides to enhance um, for nature study. So I'm gonna go back to Australia. When we studied this page, Here's the beautiful feet notebook page that went along with it. So you can see for Australia, there was four animals that we studied. And then I had my son write a little fact about each of those animals. You don't have to, or if you have an older child, of course you could have them write even more. Um, we used colored pencils, watercolored paints, specialty markers. We really mixed it up and did different things at different times. but. My son liked having this a lot and I felt like it really enhanced the student notebook um, by being able to just study about the nature, um, the trees, the animals, the plants, the different things that you would find in each of those countries. Here's another example of Brazil. So, let's see, this side is the My Father's World page for Brazil and this side is the Beautiful Feet page where we studied the different animals. So I really recommend these guides. I would never use them just by themselves because um, there's not mention of Jesus or Christianity or the missionaries and all of the wonderful rich things that you get from my father's world. But it really complemented it because I only ended up using this like once a week, maybe twice a week, to just enhance what we were already doing. One of the books that Beautiful Feet uses is this giant map book. I picked this up at Amazon and I love this book. Even if you're not using Beautiful Feet and you just wanna add it to exploring countries and cultures, I would really recommend picking it up because it's huge. I don't even know if you can see it. And it goes over um, famous landmark and people and places and things and animals and creatures and all kinds of good things that you can find in each country. It's easy to lay out on your table and have the kids go on like a little scavenger hunt and look for things on the map. So something that I think would be cool is if you're doing exploring countries and cultures and you have big kids that are doing it, and then maybe you have a kindergartner or a first, second, or third grader who is wanting to tag along, these are perfect because you can use them down to the kindergarten level. And some of the books that they recommend um, for their read aloud are just picture books, short picture books. So it enables you to include the whole family in your study, doing the whole theme for the whole year. If you have any questions or you have any comments about this, please feel free to leave that down below. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel. I'm going to be posting a lot more videos now in the coming months ahead. If you have any requests for videos, also leave that down below. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys again soon. Bye.